back to my channel. Today I have for you this bronzy, glowy, one eyeshadow makeup look. Yes! It is simple, it is easy, it is mostly focusing on the skin, it just makes you look more healthy, it just makes you look glowy and bronzy and all the beautiful things that everybody wants to look like. And it's really summery, I love it. It's a new bronzer that I'm using. Desi Perkins, guys. <sighs> she got me hooked up. When I say hooked, I mean hooked on this bronzer. And it is Max Give Me Sun. <sighs> oh my god, I'm gonna just pop this open just so you guys can see it. But it is freaking amazing. <sighs> I absolutely love it. It is just the right amount of orange with like, like in a right amount of like hint of darkness just to make it look like, you know, bronzy. Lily. I know I know you may not be able to see because my lights are like pretty stark white but maybe if I zoom in you can see it better but it's just amazing guys like I even put it in my crease right you'll see it in the tutorial but I mean it's amazing you guys have to try it it's it's gonna be a perfect summer bronzer it's probably gonna be my go-to bronzer for like every look <laughs> don't worry I will mix it up but I mean like yeah, it's probably going to be my go-to look, but it's amazing. I love this. I love the way it turned out. Um, you guys can substitute it. You guys don't even have to wear lashes if you guys don't want to. You don't even have to do a wing liner if you don't want to. You just wear the mascara and just go out the door. It is beautiful. It'll go with any lip. I just did more of a neutral lip, but oh, I'm in love with this look right now. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. And... Stay tuned near the end because I got some special news. Yeah, I'm on my way out and I want you guys to come get ready with me. Come join me. So the first thing we're going to do is prep our skin. I already washed my face and moisturized. I'm just applying the Smashbox Primer Water just to hydrate my face. And that's what I'm doing. I'm going to let that sit on my face for a little bit. And then I'm going to pop on my e.l.f. Poreless Primer. So I'm going to apply that a couple of pumps first all over my face and then I'm going to push it within my skin. This is so the foundation has something to cling onto and there's a barrier between my skin and the makeup. We are all primed up. Don't mind my uh, friends there. Not pretty school exams. Yeah. So anyways, we're going to cover those up by using these two foundations. It is the CoverGirl and the uh, L'Oreal Lumi Match Foundation. Um, I will put all the info in the bar below, including like, the shade. And I'm just going to shake it up first just to get the product all uh, worked up. I'm going to pat some in the back of my hand. Not too much since we are using two and we're mixing it. The reason I'm mixing it is because I like the coverage of the CoverGirl one, but I like the luminosity of the... Uh, Lumi match so I, I mix it all together and we got my little concoction and it's perfect I know when I apply it it looks white but it is not in person it's just the lights and all and when I put bronzer on it'll be fine so yeah I'm just gonna dot that all over my face and then I am going to take um, my Real Techniques beauty sponge wet it with the um, Smashbox primer water and I'm going to blend that all over my face my neck and I'm even gonna be covering um, my dark eye circles now that we are all set I am going to just go back in with my Smashbox primer water and apply it just a small layer just to set my uh, liquid foundation and I'm gonna go back in with my beauty sponge to push it in the skin. I do the, I do this trick on days where I really want my uh, foundation to stay put and this will also make my um, skin look more dewy. And now I'm taking my MAC color correctors and I'm just taking the two shades, mixing them and applying them just on my dark circles and this will erase any of those um, harshness and all and then I'm gonna spot treat um, where my friends were so I'm just gonna cover those up and 
once that is all blended out, I will be applying my concealer. And today I'm going in with one of my favorite concealers. Again, is the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I'm going to do it in the same usual stop spots where you highlight as well, which is under the eyes, the bridge of your nose, the uh, little bit on your forehead, and on the chin. And today, since we're not using primers, we're, we're going to go in with the concealer as well. And we're going to blend that out again, dampening it and just blending it out. foundation side of the sponge and actually go around the edges of the concealer so it doesn't look so harsh and we all look blended so this is one of my other tricks that I like to use so it looks all in unison and it doesn't look too stark white underneath and I'm just gonna set it per usual using my Smashbox powder in light so I'm just gonna take this and just apply a thin layer underneath of my eyes the bridge of my nose my forehead and um, my chin where I apply it in, and I'm gonna set my face with my MAC Studio Fix powder everywhere else. Just a little more brightness under my eyes. I'm taking my MAC Invisible Translucent Powder and applying it under my eyes. My brows. There we go, we're all done. I will put all the info in the bar below. I want some more bolder brow today and I really do like how it came out. So what I'm gonna do is first take my face powder and reset everything all over my eyes. This is gonna serve as a base. So I'm just gonna take that and brush it all over my eyelid, including the brow bone. And then what I'm gonna do is going to my crease with this bronzer this is going to be the highlight of literally this video this is max giving me sun i go in with more of a tapered brush and i push that bad boy all over my crease guys all over my crease i wing it out at the end and that's it that's all i'm doing that's all you need to do this is an amazing bronzer and when you actually, when you'll see when I actually bronze up my face, it actually comes together and it just looks phenomenal. I love it. It looks amazing. So that's all I'm doing. I'm taking that same brush and I'm going in still in layers because you don't want to make it look harsh. So I'm just going in layers and just applying just that shadow in the crease. That's all I'm doing. Nothing else. There's no highlight. There's no base. There's no nothing. It's just the crease and that bronzer and it just makes it look so pretty like you'll see just now look at the difference between the eye that has the bronzer and the eye that doesn't have the bronzer it just gives it more life and warmth and just so pretty see so now i'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side and make ourselves even eyeliner to my waterline and my tight line just to brighten up and give my eyes more emphasis since we went more neutral with the look I just apply top eyeliner to prep the lashes curling again to prep the lashes once again you can totally skip this step if you guys are not preparing for lashes you can totally use the look like this and just put on mascara or just do like a small wing like this and apply mascara it is totally up to you guys maneuver this look as much as you want but i am going in with lashes and i am going in with kiss the ones my favorite drugstore lashes i can't help myself guys it is amazing so i'm just gonna pop those on real quick and i'll be back and there we go i'm back i have my liner on as well and i will link all that in the bottom bar as well so i'm just now going in again with the uh, bronzer now and just tapering it off to my wing as per usual and that's all i'm doing and i'm gonna brush it off with this fluffier brush so it doesn't look so harsh and that's all i keep doing i just keep going back and forth till i feel like the intensity is um how is what I want. I'm just applying a little bit of that bronzer underneath my um, lash line as well just to make the look more cohesive. You guys already know the drill. And I'm going to keep going back 
and make those layers with the bronzer. So now time for the fun part. Now I'm going to bronze up my face. So I'm going to take my contour brush, my real techniques. So what I'm first going to do is push it into my skin. I'm actually going to go higher than what I do when I contour. So I'm going to go where pretty much my temples are and then I'm going to push it down and then towards my um, inner face like that right there. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing and then I'm going to push in circular motions and blend it backwards. So that's what I found that was best to use this because it is a little dusty when you um, first put your brush in so there's a lot of fallout that does happen. But that's what I do here. So that's what I did on the other side instead. I pushed the product in first to my skin and then I blended it out by blending it backwards. So that's what I did. I applied it all over my face, all over the outer portions of my face. I did not um, precisely put it like how you would do with contouring. So what bronzing does instead is just give your face more color, more warmth, and it just makes you look like um, you've been in the sun for so long. And that's exactly where you want to apply the bronzers, where the sun would naturally hit your face. So that's what I'm doing and I'm applying it just a little bit underneath my um, jawline as well. And I'm going to blend down with less of the product on my brush in my to my neck. And that's it. Are all bronzed up. So now for highlight, I am going to be going in with a new highlight. It is the NYX highlighting palette. Let me know down below if you guys want me to do a review. I will definitely do that. But yeah, I am going to go in with the um, light gold and the bronzier gold. I'm going to mix the two colors together and I'm going to apply that to the high points of my face, which is my cheeks, my nose, and my uh, upper lip. And I actually really do like this bronzer, I mean this highlighter, it's um, really pigmented. I'm actually surprised at how pigmented it was, but it really is pretty and it blends in so softly and it's not chalky or there's no fallout or anything at all. I'm very surprised with NYX. As I was about to go put it on my nose, I realized I completely forgot to contour my nose, so I'm going to split real quick contour my nose and I will be back there we are now we are all contoured so we can highlight a bit more since this look is more of a glowy look I went pretty intense with the highlight so I applied a lot more than it seems I don't know if the camera is picking up on how beautiful this highlighter looks but in person it is amazing it just looks very um just Prestigious. I don't know if you know how to explain it. It's amazing. It just looks like liquid gold. It's so pretty. I still went in and did the um, high, the uh, Fix Plus trick with the really beauty sponge because who doesn't want a really glowy, glowy, glowy highlight, you know? So you can never have enough of that glow. So that's exactly what I did. And I just kept packing it on until I felt the intensity was on par and exactly what I wanted to look. And... I just pat it on even more so you can never have enough much highlighter so yeah and for lips I went in with this combo so I started with the MAC World lip liner and I just um, outlined my lip and I filled in my entire lip with that color I will link down the video below on how to make your lips appear bigger um, I've done that before so I'll put that down in the uh, bottom bar below as well and that's what I did I just applied that color all over my lip and then right over on top of that I applied um, Max Velvet Teddy because it's more of a neutral look but this um, with this combination it just gives it more of a pinkier lip so it's not too nude so you have a little bit of color on your lip so it just looks a little bit more alive than just having a true nude on your lip if that makes any sense but yes yeah, so that's the lip color i did choose and i'm gonna just set my face and that is the finished look guys i really hope you guys enjoyed hey, I, I, I. light in this but I have some exciting news it's regarding these so I am pregnant
proud to announce that are you guys excited? Are you guys excited? Ah! So this is not a sponsored video, it is not a paid video or anything like that. But I just wanted you guys to know that hashtag sunglasses and I am an affiliate. Yay! And these are the sunglasses that I got. Oh, I love these sunglasses. It's gonna be amazing for summer. Like look at that, those cat eyes, the flare and all the ring lights there. But I mean like it's perfect. It's so pretty. Like, oh, so chic, you know? Like, oh. So, I am an affiliate with Sun uh, Hashtag Sunglasses. It is an amazing company. They cater to both guys and girls. And <laughs> they, they cater to both guys. I mean, both. They cater, blah, blah, blah. they cater to both guys. They cater to both girls. They have so many different styles. So, like, they have something funky like this, or if you want like a classic aviator style, they have all that. All you have to do is just go to www.hashtagsunglasses.com and if you use my discount code, ah, I have a discount code for my fans, all you guys, all my subscribers. I love you guys. If you use the discount code new shades the number four you I will put all the info down in the info bar below. If you use that code, you can get 10% off your next purchase and they ship within two days. So if you guys want to get and check it out, a new pair of sunglasses for summer, since summer's coming around the corner, then use my discount code. Use it and rock on. Guys, like let's look sexy for summer. That is my phone. I apologize for that. But rude. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about this opportunity. Thank you, Sun Hashtag Sunglasses, for making me an affiliate. I am very happy and very excited to be here and do this with you guys. And I hope you guys get your hashtag sunglasses as well. I love these pairs, guys. Like I just feel so like like a goddess, you know? Not a goddess, but like, you know, I'm just feeling myself, you know? So if you guys want to check these out, I will uh, put these pairs down as well, like what, like these pairs, just to see what, um, if you ever want to get these ones yourself, but just check out the website, check out their style, and thank you for watching guys, and don't forget to click the thumbs up button below, and don't forget to subscribe guys, I make new videos every weekly, I know I missed last week, it's just because I was crazy and busy with school, yeah, papers and assignments and exams, it's just not fun. But every, every week I do post a new video, so click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to click the ringer button so you don't miss any. So yeah, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!